Let's go to our top undrafted free agents, the guys that uh, you know probably held a somewhat prominent spot on our draft board. Yeah. For whatever reason, went undrafted. Uh, I'm not surprised that Tavon Coney, the linebacker out of Notre Dame, went undrafted. I'm not. No. I mean, undrafted is a surprise, but undrafted is a surprise. I was low. expecting him to be a day three, yeah. round five or six guy. I was just thinking about how the NFL mm-hmm. might value his skill set. Um, there was some other stuff at play. There was some off stuff, off field stuff at play. Is that right? Supposedly with um, Coney with drugs. Oh, yeah. I saw some sort of um, link to that. But even that aside, mm-hmm. I was still kind of expecting the NFL to say, "Oh, he's a day three player." Um, but we're still going to yeah. call him yeah. a top player. Um, I had a marijuana play. Yeah. yeah it's so that probably had him drop. So that's our excuse. No, but we really like Perconi as a player in this wide open linebacker class. Mm-hmm. He brings some value in coverage. And I mean, he's more athletic than Vontez Perfect, who's going to be, yeah. who's there in that room. Better, probably better than Tahira Whitehead. I think he has a legitimate chance to start there with what the talent that's on that linebacker roster. I mean, at least make that roster. Uh, we just love his balance. I, I think he's a, solid NFL player to me he's the Cleveland Farrell linebacker I think he's just gonna be a solid NFL player he's not super exciting though obviously so that's why he probably fell well down draft boards but he just does a lot of things fairly well that you'd like a guy to do well at linebacker clearly not the same character guy as Cleveland though true fourth overall versus UDFA Uh, Emmanuel Hall wide receiver out of Missouri going to the Bears I expected the NFL to there were character uh, concerns here though as well apparently attitude concerns was the Emmanuel Hall not off field but attitude yeah. but I mean the dude was the most explosive receiver in this draft class probably more explosive than DK Metcalf in terms of just like off the line of scrimmage it just seemed like he was at full speed already going past guys now his ball skills are abysmal like just so many drops every single year but he's averaged the second most or the most yards per route this past year when healthy obviously didn't play enough necessarily to qualify for our that stat overall but he was averaging something like four, almost four yards per route just drew lock throwing it up to him was a nice combination when he was healthy not going to add much more than that but I, he is actually a little better route runner than like the, your traditional deep threat he was kind of like a bigger wolf fuller in my eyes really with terrible with worse ball skills even fuller had bad drops but emmanuel hall was worse. yeah his ball skills were he see he reminded me more of mac hollins who's with the mm-hmm. eagles now came out of unc yeah. just had that special second gear hollins yeah and he was a guy that i really liked as a fourth rounder mm-hmm. for the eagles and i keep thinking back to like these mid-rounders that i like it's because they either do something really well and i could see this path where they're going to succeed that's kind of hall like i could see him mm-hmm. being a deep threat like i envisioned for mac hollins um Give me some other top UDFA names. Dion Calhoun, the guard out of Mississippi State. This one is a big head scratcher for me that he didn't get drafted. Uh, he was getting a lot of hype early in the process, but more was like he? last fall. Okay, but then it but then it disappeared. So uh, this one, so everyone loved Bo. Everyone's asking why Bo Benshaw went undrafted, and he's a terrible athlete for the position. There's a reason I thought he would go undrafted. Calhoun, though, on the other hand. Is a fantastic athlete. Ran a 5.0740, 7.463 cone, 4.62 short shuttle. Those are great numbers. He has power that shows up on tape. Uh, and there must there must be something off field. There must be something else behind the scenes going on because his tape and his athleticism was draftable. We had him as a f- top of the fourth type of guy, uh, which is pretty hard, high for a guard. He was a top 10 on a guard. And he goes to the Dolphins, which... God, they need a guard. He could legitimately exactly start for them as a rookie. Yeah, the uh, uh, Mississippi State had a very good... just offensive defensive line mm-hmm. they've just put a lot of talent into the nfl over the last couple of years uh gerald willis a guy we should highlight interior d lineman uh from miami former gator uh how old is he now i mean he was like That's tebow's draft class i mean recruiting mid-30s class. he's old he's not but, like he's not byu old we're going through the ages you always see one guy who's like oh he's 28 oh byu here's or the deal. utah he but, yeah. gerald willis we have every snap for every player in their career because we've been doing this back to He's not even 24. Winovich is older than him. So. Okay. All right. But mm. all I'm saying is he took pre-PFF college snaps. He saw the field in 2013. Damn. For Florida. <laughs> okay. So he's been around a little while. But Gerald Willis, he flashed quite a bit at Miami last year. You know, some explosion off the line of scrimmage. And we saw him at least as a mid-round mm-hmm. type of interior D lineman. Yeah. And he's at least different from all the other big plotting nose tackles that they have there Mm -hmm. they're not plotting but they're big give me one more name divino zigbo the running back out of nebraska goes to the saints who have a history of liking those udfa running backs the pierre thomases of the world the uh chris ivories of the world have made rosters there 
think he's in that mold of actually my comp for him pre-draft was Mark Ingram. So they could see some similar sort of traits there. Graded out really well. Had a rushing grade this past season over 90. Love his balance, contact balance. Loves contact balance. I, I think he has a legit shot of making that roster. They got Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray in the fold. He could be RB3 there in that room. I may have lied about Gerald Willis. About him not taking snaps in 2013? I may have. Don't feed these people had some false information. He definitely Steve. had some 2014 snaps, though. You got to see what draft class he was. Florida. He was 2014. He was on. Oh, so he was in. Okay. So we have was, all. Sorry. We I have lied about all. Gerald Willis. 